When I think of the definition of a creative, it's um, someone who can make something happen out of nothing. Probably the, the biggest element I would say of creativity is beauty, is to make something that even you may not consider beautiful and make something beautiful out of it, something functional, something aesthetically pleasing. At the time when I was a kid, I just wanted to play. You know, I always had um, pencils and, and markers and pastels and all of those things growing up and just thought that's what everybody did, all the kids did, and didn't think that was, you know, such a unique thing that I spent hours and hours in my room drawing and painting. But it wasn't really until after I got married, about 15 years ago, that I really started to paint. About a year after um, my husband and I got married, I got really sick. And um, I, I could have died. And after coming out of that, um, I just knew that time was short. I had that realization as we all do at some point in time. And I decided that um, I, needed to, I needed to explore painting again. I needed to explore art again. And that's when I sat down and, and did my first little painting. I knew at that point that this, this didn't need to end. This needed to be part of my life. This needed to be um, part of what I did, if nothing else, for my, for my well-being and my sanity. <laughs> so, most of the canvases I have have something underneath it. You know, it, it's, I don't know, I feel like there's a life lesson in that too, that, you know, you do a painting, it doesn't work it's okay, you just you paint white over it and you start over. Just play. Don't worry about um, messing up because you can always fix it or you can paint over it, you can start over. And um, that's part of the beauty of, of painting. When we went to Sri Lanka, we got to go to a, an elephant orphanage and um, you know, when I, when I was taking that photograph, <laughs> I was so into the animals and watching them and fascinated that I didn't realize that the, the guy that was guiding them was like trying to shoo me out of the road because there was a herd of elephants coming and I was about to get stampeded. So um, I don't know, I just, it was an incredible experience. For now, I guess I'll stick to the elephant as my favorite, but um, hopefully that won't stay that way for too long. Every animal in its way has um, beauty. It has interest in the colors, um, colors you wouldn't expect. And so it's fun to explore that when I'm actually getting um, paint on canvas to see what, what comes about. Um, a lot of times I don't even notice or recognize the nuances and the, um, the different reflections of, of a wing or a scale or a beak uh, until I'm actually in it really looking. I don't know, I think the eyes will just really um, make or break the feel of a piece and I know the painting's finished and done when I can get the eyes just right. I do live with a creative and um, we didn't really know that when we got married. Um, it, it makes things interesting. <laughs> when I think that I'm done with a piece of art, it's, to me, it's never done until my husband has seen it and has given his final stamp on it. I think, you know, having that second pair of eyes is crucial because you've been looking at the same thing for so long and you start to lose judgment a little bit. Um, but also I think that, you know, we're so different in how we see things that if there's a piece that we both feel is finished, um, then I know it's right. When a piece is done, I feel like I can breathe. What I would want if when someone sees a piece is to have a connection, an emotional connection. I sold a piece to a wonderful friend of ours and it was a large head-on of an African elephant and, and I love that piece. And she came over and she was asking about the piece. I thought she was just curious, but I did, not realizing she actually wanted to buy it. And, uh, and so when I finally realized, realized she was asking because she wanted to buy it, I was like, oh, okay. And it was like that moment of excitement because as an artist, you wanna feel validated. You feel validated when your art sells. 
Um, but there was also this, oh, oh, I guess we're going to have to let go of it. <laughs> so it's almost like you paint something that was meant to be painted for someone else. It's, it's something that was supposed to speak or communicate something to someone else. I do it because I need to do it. It's in, it's in there and it needs to come out, but uh, I also paint to share it. My name is Shelly Fossil and I am a creative. <laughs>